Well, let's get the latest now live from Poland. Our correspondent Magdalena Chavovnik joins us now. She's in the village of Pishvodov, where that missile landed yesterday. Magdalena, we will come to the situation on the ground where you are in just a minute. But first of all, what have Polish officials in Warsaw been saying about what happened? Um... Well, we can clearly say that the NATO statement is very, very similar to the president's um, um, statement here in Poland. Uh, it seems that they agree on what uh, kind of information will be shared and how the information will be shared, because the Polish president said exactly the same, that uh, the missile that landed yesterday on Polish territory was um, most probably, most likely, uh, the uh, incident caused by the air defense of Ukraine and it was, he underlined as well, not Ukrainian fault by the Russians that were launching a massive rocket attack yesterday on Ukraine. And um, as again, he called Polish people to keep calm and to let people finish the investigation. But for now, he just confirmed what um, was just mentioned by the NATO uh, in the NATO statement. And Magdalena, you're in the village at the heart of this story today, Pushvodov, where that missile landed yesterday. Just tell us what the atmosphere there is like. I mean, how concerned are people that they could uh, encounter yet more accidental fire in the months ahead? Well, there's no access to the site of yesterday's um, rocket um, explosion. There is a military um, officials. There are uh, policemen all around. There are also people searching for possible other uh, pieces of the um, rockets outside of the of the scene. But the village itse itself is, is, is uh, the atmosphere is very sad because they mourn uh, two people that have been killed yesterday. And uh, the village uh, chief just said that they will have an official mourning time for the next three days. So it's very hard time for them. Also, um, the chief of the village um, offered um, psychological help for the uh, people, inhabitants of the village for those who need it. And people were saying that they are happy to have this opportunity that, uh, and that they will use it. Magdalena Chivotnik, thanks very much indeed for speaking to us.